In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages Word 84 and 85, which is entitled Insert Page Numbers. If you want to number the pages of a multiple page document, you can insert a page number field to add a page number to each page. Now remember, a field is a code that serves as a placeholder for data that changes in a document, such as a page number or the current date. When you use the page number button on the insert tab to add page numbers to a document, you insert the page number field at the top, bottom, or any side of uh, any page, and Word will automatically number all the pages in the document for you. So instead of having to go through on the header or footer or in the margins of your sides and typing in the page number, uh, which if you've ever done that before actually will repeat on every other page. So if I would put in the margins uh, down here on the bottom on the footer, page one, it would say page one, page one on all the pages. Uh, and uh, using the fields is a much easier way, especially if you're formatting a document like we are here, because if we had typed out all the page numbers on all the pages and if it would accept it, uh, we went from five pages down to four pages. So uh, you would have to redo that again. So what we're going to do is, uh, step one tells us that we want to press Control and Home to go to the top of our document. And we're going to go back, um, and this time we can click on our View button, uh, and we want to click on the 100% button in the Zoom group, and that's going to take us back to the one page uh, view on there for the print, uh, the print view here, uh, the print layout view, I should say. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to click on our Insert tab. And of course, this is where we're going to be inserting in the page number field. And then next, we're going to click on the Page Number button, and that's in the Header and Footer group. Of course, notice here we have Header, Footer, and Page Number. When we click on that, we get the different options that are going to appear here. And this is the Page Number menu that's opening up. Now, you use this menu to select the position uh, for the page numbers. If you choose to add a page number field to the top, bottom, or side of a document, a page number will appear on every page in the document. Now if you choose to insert it in the document at the location of the insertion point, the field will appear only on that page. So if you would just put it in uh, on the current position uh, on there, that would input it in at the insertion point, uh, but that would only appear on that one page. So if you do the top, bottom, or page margins, uh, that's going to apply to all the pages that's there. And of course, that's where we said before, you point to the current position to insert a page number field at the location of your insertion point. And of course, that will appear only on that page. On step two, it tells us that we want to point at bottom of page on there. And of course, a gallery is opening up over here on the right-hand side of uh, formatting and alignment options for the page numbers to be inserted at the bottom of a page uh, on there. If we scroll down a little bit, this is step three, uh, and we want to keep on going until we see plane number two. Of course, we can take a look at the different options uh, on there. You can have it where there's accent bars, uh, where you know it actually has the word page involved, uh, abbreviated page numbers of so many pages that we have in the document. There's lots of different options that are there and that you can choose from uh, on there. Arrows, boxes, circles, uh, you know, you really just have to take a look and see what different options are available to you. But we want to go back up to the top and we want to click on plain number two in the simple section. Now once we do that and we click on that, notice that it's going to open up the footer section here uh, on there. And of course the a page number field has been inserted uh, in the center of the footer, er footer area of the bottom of page one in the document. Now of course notice one thing is that the document uh, text here has been grayed out. If I click once somewhere in it, notice my insertion point doesn't move up there. Uh, and that's really dimmed out because we are now located in the footer area or the footer section uh, on here. And of course to get back to this document we can always click on this close header and footer button or we can double click in our document and what that's going to do is that's going to close our footer section and take us back to the body text that's there. But we don't want to do that just yet uh, on there. Uh, we're going to do that in our next step there. Now, of course, to change the location or formatting of a page number, you can click the Page Numbers button and point to a page number location 
and then set, uh, select a format from the gallery. So if you want to change this again uh, on there, we can always go back up to the page numbers and we can relocate that uh, on there. Now, uh, on step four, it tells us that we want to double click in the document text and that's going to reopen that back up or once again you can click on this button up here that says close header and footer and of course now you'll notice that the footer section has been dimmed out or grayed out and the rest of the text is now back to its original color which means that we can edit the body text while the footer uh, and header areas have been closed temporarily but they're still there uh, on there now the page number is now dim, like we said, because it's in the footer area and it's no longer the active area. Now when the document is printed, the page numbers appear as normal text, so don't worry about it being grayed out right now uh, because that will change when you actually print this out. If you would take a look at it in print preview, you would notice that this would be the same color as uh, other text that appears around it, so it's going to appear as normal text. In step five, it tells us that we want to scroll down the document to see the page numbers located at the bottom of each page. So here's page one. You know, if we scroll down a little bit more, here's page two, you know, page three, and page four. And of course, Word numbered each page of the report automatically. And each page number is centered at the bottom of the page. Now, if you want to change the numbering format or start page numbering with a different number, you can simply click on the page number button, click the format page numbers, and then choose the options in the page number format dialog box uh, on here. So if we would uh, you know, reopen this back up uh, on there, you could do that. Uh, if you go into the insert and if we go down to the footer uh, on here, um, we can actually edit the footer. And then of course you can choose this uh, on there when we click on format page numbers you can choose the number formatting that you would like to have you can include chapter numbers uh, we can continue with a previous section or we can tell it to start at a different section uh, but we don't want to do that so we're just going to click on cancel and make sure that we're back in our body text we're then going to press control home to get back up to the top of the document and this time we're going to click back on our view tab and we're going to click on page width so we're going to make some uh, more changes that's on here now of course if you ever want to remove page numbers from a document you can click the page number button and click on remove page numbers and that would remove the page number. Now when you're moving around in a long document, rather than scrolling to move to a different place in a long document, you can use the navigation pane to move the insertion point to the top of a specific page. Uh, to open the navigation pane, you click the find button in the editing group on the home tab. So if we would do that, we click on the home tab, we can go here to the find button and that's in the editing group and of course here's our navigation pane then we can click the pages on here to display the different pages so we can see a thumbnail of each page in the document in the navigation pane and we can use the scroll box here to scroll down the document so we can you know if we know a specific what a specific page looks like we can go to that page automatically without having to scroll through every one of the pages here of course to click uh, when we click a thumbnail in the navigation pane it moves the insertion point to the top of that page so if i would want to go to page three i can click on this and notice that the page automatically switches to page three and is at the top of the document of course you want to hit your control home and go back up to the top now, another thing that you can do as well is that Word has what we call Quick Parts. And the Word Quick Parts feature makes it easy to insert reusable pieces of content into a document quickly. Now, the Quick Part items you can insert includes fields such as the current date or the total number of pages in a document, document property information such as the author, title of a document, and building blocks which are used to customize content that you create, format, and save for future use. To insert a quick part into a document at the location of the insertion point, you can click on the Quick Parts button in the text group on the Insert tab. So if we go to the Insert tab, and of course, uh, if we take a look here, there's the text. We have the Quick Parts, and this is where you can choose uh, some of the different uh, information that's on there. We can add in fields, document properties. Uh, of course, you know if you had some auto text that's there, you could choose that as well. 
And of course, uh, the different parts, uh, generally you probably want to be in on the header and footers tools. There's another area where you can add in uh, quick parts as well. Now to insert a field into a document, you're going to have to click on that field uh, on the quick parts menu that opens and click the name of the field you want to insert in the field dialog box and then click OK. So if I would click on that right here, uh, here's our different fields that we can choose and we can choose the name of these uh, on there and it would uh, allow us to uh, select the different, inf different information that's there. Now to insert a document property, you're going to point to the document property on the quick parts menu and then click the property you want to insert. Now the property is added to the documents as a content control and contains the document property information you entered in the document properties panel, which we looked at that in a previous uh, unit. Now if you did not assign a documents property, the content control displays a placeholder which you can replace with your own text. Once you replace the placeholder text or edit the document property information that appears in the content control, this text replaces the document property information in the document property panel. Uh, so that's one way that you can change the document properties is to use this quick parts uh, on there to um, add or to change those. And of course, if you want to insert in a building block, and of course uh, we can put in a building block organizer on the quick parts menu, and you select what building blocks you want and click on insert. And of course, uh, if you continue on uh, in this course and everything, you'll be able to learn more about uh, uh, building blocks uh, later on. Uh, in later lessons. And that concludes the information that is on pages Word 84 and 85. Uh, in the next video we're going to be taking a look at adding headers and footers. So make sure that you do go to the top of your document and save it and you can move on to the next video.